What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Frankie Slauson here, and it's time for, well, another great DVD update. And I should not disappoint. Uh, I did, over the last course of the last week, or since the last DVD update, uh, I can probably say maybe the last 24 hours or so, I've gotten a bunch of brand new DVDs. And you're probably wondering, well, what's with the shirt? <coughs> uh, boy, you know, that's pretty unique. What, you trying to be a Ghostbuster? Well, you know, not not necessarily. I uh, got this shirt a long time ago, back this summer, uh, from a guy in Florida from eBay that uh, makes these or sells these custom made. You can't find these really anywhere. Uh, these custom made shirts, and I figure, well, I have another Ghostbuster one like this, but it's uh, it's I don't know where what happened to it. It's it's somewhere around here. Yeah. But anyway, this is uh, the Peter Venkman uh, shirt uh, or uniform, and this is supposed to be a tribute to the first movie where he got slimed by Slimer. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, God, I got to get this. So for 25 bucks, I got it and loved it ever since. Looks like an actual uniform. It's pretty cool. And since Bill Murray is probably my favorite, or Peter Venkman is probably my favorite character on that on that movie because I think he's a lot like me, you know, or I'm like a lot, I'm a lot like him, or Bill Murray or whatever, just because of strange sense of humor or whatever, and try to be a chick magnet, but you know who knows. Uh, anyway, so I figure, what the heck, might as well wear it. I want to wear this to, you know, since it's a movie update, a DVD update I'm doing, and of course in tribute to the real Ghostbuster DVD box set now that's finally out. Of course, guys like Sit or uh, Sitco. 23 or whatever, or Patrick Butler, you know, he was rant, you know, tell a lot about the box set and whatnot, and do, give us updates about that, and so I figure, well, why not do, uh, you know, wear the shirt, so anyway, that's why, but uh, once again, just like the last time, I'm going to try to make these videos as quick as I can, because they're just DVD updates, like most people, when they do DVD updates, they they really inform somebody if they really really know what they're what what the movie's about. So I can save time. I might go a couple parts here. We'll see. It just depends on how much time I got. Anyway, uh, a couple of these movies that I got, I've had for a while, but I, I thought they're pretty cool enough to display, and you guys be the judge of what you think. And uh, here we go. This first one, it's a three disc set that I got from Amazon.com earlier this summer. It's uh, the show that Hulk Hogan starred in, or, or something that led into the little series that was on from like 94 and 95, the Thunder in Paradise collection. Now this is the first, the, just pretty much the three movies that they made. Thunder in Paradise 1, Thunder in Paradise 2, and Thunder in Paradise 3. And of course everybody remembers the show from TNT back in the good old days of when shows are really really good way before HD days but uh, anyway it has all the three movies and I haven't seen this yet you know I've got so many movies as late I you know have got too many where I don't even you know watch them you know but but I will and this is one that you should check out I got from Amazon.com as far as I know they still have it Thunder in Paradise the movie collection it's Hulk Hogan now this one is for all, for you older people, or older generation that uh, you'll probably find a surprise that a kid like me or a guy that's 25 years old would actually give a crap about this person, or you would care enough for, to buy a DVD or you want a DVD on based on this person. But this guy was one of my inspirations for you know music and being in radio and all that stuff. And I love his music, always will. Sad, you know, the ending that uh, he had, and next actually as of February 3rd. Of this coming year, 2009, will be the 50th anniversary of the death of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and Big Bopper. And this, if you remember the movie with Gary Busey, the Buddy Holly story, that may have been some of the story, but it wasn't the real Buddy Holly story. This is the real Buddy Holly story that uh, was uh, produced by, uh, what you call it? Uh, well, it wasn't produced, but it was stole, told by. Paul McCartney. He hosted, hosted it, and he sh showed footage and uh, stories from the singers, from the crickets, and also shows like Keith Richards, Phil Dunn, the Everly Brothers, Sonny Curtis, Jerry Allison, and a lot more. 
and people that he had a lot to do with his, his actual life. The Buddy Holly story kind of told the story of, you know, made it seem like Buddy Holly was kind of a jerk at some time, some parts, you know. But he never fought. As far as as far as we all know, he, he never was a fighter. He never, you know, hit anybody or whatever. He was very respectable. That's why I think he and I have a lot in common as far as that. His music will always be li forever remembered. And, uh, you know, just a great guy. Buddy Holly, the real Buddy Holly story. Now this next one. <laughs> this next one I just got last night, which was, two, or I should say Tuesday morning, but I, I took a lunch break at work or whatever, and I wanted to get this because I knew it was coming out. And I, you know, even though I see a little bit of the, the, of the first one, but I still believe that the originals with Michael Keaton are a lot better. But I guess even now I will watch this because everybody's talking about it. Of course, The Dark Knight. And this is what I got at Walmart for seventeen dollars. Now it's not the one with the special, you know, it's not the one with the special features or whatever, because I don't know that much about you know a lot of the actors that are in here. I mean, I do, but I don't. So, I I I think you know because I did watch Batman Begins. I watched that a little bit, and thought it was okay, but everyone was talking about the Dark Knight. So you guys see the Dark Knight. I was like, well, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. You know, I'm always willing to check things out. And uh, so I just picked up the uh, the widescreen editions, the single disc. Most people will probably just pick up the two disc, whatever, because of all the features. But most of the time when I watch a movie, unless it's something like, you know, like this or, or something like any of the cruisers or something like that, or Back to the Future, Teen Wolf, whatever, if they, that's different. I, you know, I like that stuff, so I will definitely find as much stuff as I can, you know, to... You know, if they have special editions or whatever. But this is The Dark Knight. I don't even need to really go into the story what it's about. If you haven't seen it or haven't even thought about getting it, you should try it out. I'm going to give it a shot. You know, it could be really good. Who knows? I have no idea. Let's see what we got for time here. Oh, we got enough time. Yep, this will probably go in for another part. I'm just since I've been ranting raving. Uh, now these next two movies I'm going to display before I uh, cut to the next part. I got from uh, Wet Movie 1. And I can prove that. A.K.A. Brandon Mitchell. I can prove that because I got it yesterday. And if you see real close, Brandon Mitchell from uh, Canoga Park, <laughs> California. He sent me two movies. He said he was going to send me two movies. I know, you know, Brandon, you know, he said, you know, don't open it, you know, until Christmas, but you know, I could help myself. I knew it was going to be something that has to do with the movie, whether it's memorabilia or, or movies alone. I have no idea what movies. He could have sent me a portal movie for all I know. He said, oh, he's big on that stuff too. I'm not, but you know, whatever. I accept whatever. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I figured, well, I open it up and see what was, what was in there. First movie he sent me, he sent me two movies, which really surprised the heck out of me that he sent me, you know, just anything, you know. But I appreciate it, and, and you rock, you know, and if there's anything you ever need from me, let me know. I'd send you a movie, but you probably have, the chances are, you probably have it already. Uh, as with me, I only have like 700 movies in my collection, so I don't really, you know, there's a good chance I probably might not have it, so. But these I don't have. Uh, this is the Jack Black, Kyle Gass, the Tenacious D, a movie called The Pick of Destiny, and I know Meatloaf's in there. I haven't really checked it out yet, haven't even opened it yet, but uh, I will eventually watch it. Uh, as Dolby Surround Sound uh, 5.1X Extra, and I got the Logitech system, so that's gonna sound really great. And of course, I got the HD TV, so that's what you need is watch a good movie like this, so I can't wait. I don't really know much about it, so I can't really say, but Jack Black, I think, is a really good actor, you know, school school rock and Orange County and all that. Good stuff. Let's see what we're doing for time if we're getting low here. Yep. Well, we will go into part two here, where I hopefully will be the final part, and uh, show some of the other DVDs that I got. So, we'll be right back right after this. More DVD updates. Frankie Slauson.